Hi guys, just wanted to talk to you today about DJI Innovation's new quadcopter called the Phantom. This is a first for DJI, uh, releasing a fully ready to fly quadcopter. Um, I've pre-ordered mine, um, I was made aware of it around the 22nd of November, uh, quadcopters.co.uk accidentally leaked one of their videos of it flying, um, and once people got hold of it, they um, had to take off the video, so uh, that sparked my interest in this quadcopter, and I was looking for a quadcopter to uh, start building and flying to uh, strap the old GoPro to, so um, it's come at just the right time for me. Now, uh, DJI have released it with the NASA uh, flight control system. Now, uh, if you do a bit of research, you'll find that the NASA is uh, very capable and uh, one of the best out there uh, to use. So, uh, I'm quite happy that that's included in this ready to fly model. Uh, it comes with um, a 2200 milliamp uh, free cell battery. Um, now, that's quite good because these 2200 free cells are very cheap. I just picked two of them up for £16, 16, pound, 16 uh, British pounds, so that will give me some flight. Flight times, uh, we're not too sure at the moment, people are uh, saying different things, uh, DJI themselves say almost up to 15 minutes, but uh, I'm not too sure, I'm a bit sceptical skeptical on that, um, especially if it was carrying the GoPro. Um, it does come with its own uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio that's got a maximum range of 300 meters so um, enough for the uh, amateurs but once you start changing to uh, FPV you're going to uh, struggle with the range then uh, that's the uh, another one of the uh, little drawbacks about it uh, but uh, it's not released as an FPV quadcopter it's actually just for filming and uh, enjoying um, now I ordered mine on the 22nd, the actual day I found out about it, uh, at the time they had it priced for £435 and they said it, the price may go up or, or down, unfortunately uh, checking up on the website it has gone up to £459 but it's still very cheap compared to uh, if you wanted to build your own quadcopter. Um, now if you wanted to, to build a quadcopter you, you, you could easily double that price. Um, depending on the parts you're using and um, the NASA flight controller you're going to want a spectrum control um, transmitter that's that's another 200, 200 plus pounds uh, then you could start building your quadcopter choose your frame etc etc then you have to um, build it all and uh, calibrate it all now this is the tricky part this is where everyone goes wrong and has trouble calibrating their ESC's and the flight controllers the gains etc uh, so DJI Innovations has decided to bring out their fully ready to fly quadcopter so I'm, I'm very glad of this because it saved me a hell of a lot of uh, trouble the quadcopter comes ready to fly all you have to do is add four AA batteries into the transmitter charge up your 2200 milliamp lipo and you're ready to go now the NASA flight controller uh, is included as I mentioned but also the GPS is included uh, with this model so it will have GPS position hold so flick a switch and it'll stay at the same altitude and uh, the same um, distance uh, laterally um, so that's going to be really helpful for aerial photography and, and videos uh, has auto return to home so if you lose um, the signal or your batteries die in the transmitter the quadcopter will fly back to the position it took off from and land itself it also has two stage low voltage protection uh, first stage is the red LED on the back will start blinking red to let you know your battery is about to die and the second stage it, it will actually land itself so again another good feature for the um, amateur market the quadcopter comes uh, in its own monocoque shell, um, some people are not happy about this, some people prefer to have the everything exposed so they can access it and do bits and bobs to it, also if you do crash it and you snap one of the arms off you're going to have to replace the whole shell. Um, from what I've been reading on the forums people are saying it will not have a manual control uh, so you, you won't have full control over it which Personally, I'm not too happy about. Uh, it's good for the for the amateurs, uh, but when, once you start um, pushing the limits of the the quadcopter, you're gonna want a bit more, and you may move on to something else. So I'd like to think there was a way of disabling that, so you have full control 
but this is just speculation we will see when it actually uh, gets released and i got mine from quadcopters.co.uk uh, they were taking pre-orders and are expecting a uh, delivery uh, they were the guys that had the video um, so that's what first sparked my interest so I thought well I'll go with those guys they're about an hour and a half away from here too so it could be possible I could go pick it up on the day they actually get them but I don't know that's that's up to them so DJI is saying it's got two flight control modes uh, one being position hold and the other being the, uh, the GPS um, that's altitude and attitude. The Phantom also has intelligent orientation uh, control, which basically means no matter which way the quadcopter is facing, if you pull back, it will come back towards you. Uh, even if it's facing forwards, sideways, on an angle, whatever, you pull backwards on the stick, it's going to come towards you. That again is going to make it very simple for um, the amateurs like myself, and uh, and will aid getting smooth shots uh, and dynamic shots with the quadcopter included with it is a gopro mount uh so two screws the mount will go on the bottom sticky gopro in there not sure how uh, sturdy that's going to be in a crash uh, the gopro is exposed uh, but you don't have to uh, stick your camera to it if you don't want the legs are held on with two screws also very simple to uh to uh, build um that's literally all, all you have to do just charge it up put the legs on put the camera uh, gimbal on if you want to use that and put double A's in your transmitter and off you go. Now they have limited the flight control speed to 10 meters per second. I think that works out around 22, 23 miles per hour. Uh, that should be enough for anyone, but as I mentioned, after you've had this for a while, you're gonna want fast air and it's um, limited. It is gonna be limited, especially with those flight modes only being GPS um, and uh, altitude. So, People may get bored of this after time, but let's see if uh, DJI will allow you to uh, turn off that feature and get full manual uh, control over the flight control system. Another good feature of the Phantom is that it has LEDs built into the arms to help with orientation. So the front two arms have red LEDs, that's three LEDs per boom, and the rears have green LEDs, and you have a single LED in the back that um, can tell you different information about the quadcopter. Uh, like volt, low voltage and um, various other things uh, depending on what mode you're flying in. Now, as you guys see, and I did put a video up earlier in the week of the uh, Phantom flying around um, um, and actually got my first dislike on this channel uh, on that video. Uh, I think the reason being there wasn't much information on, on the video about the quadcopter, uh, hence this video. Um, now, everybody had been looking for footage of this flying uh, and there was nowhere to be seen. I did find one place, uh, American website, uh, had a very small video of it, about eight seconds clip of it, and that's what I managed to get and chop up and stick on YouTube, because people were asking for it, they, they, they just couldn't find it, and quadcopters.co.uk uh, quadcopters um, had to take their video off for various reasons, so uh, it was the only vi video available on the internet, so that's why I put it on there. Sorry it wasn't great, but people wanted to see it flying, wanted to see it in action and get a feel for the size and, and, and what it can actually do, um, and that was the best I could do, hence that video. Uh, since then, there's been a few more uh, videos put up um, by various other testers or distributors, um, but nobody has shown the onboard footage yet, which is slightly worrying. Uh, will it be good enough? Will, uh, they, will, this, will the video have the jello effect from the props, or will it be okay? Um, I did ask a distributor, but I didn't get an answer from them. Um, so we will have to wait and see. Uh, as I said, I've pre-ordered mine, so hopefully it will be here before Christmas, and I can show you uh, what the onboard footage is like. But hopefully between now and then, somebody else, one of the distributors, uh, may show uh, the onboard footage. DJI have released their own video uh, about a week later now, since, since we first found out about it. But uh, again, it doesn't show the onboard footage, uh, which is a shame. I'd like to see that. In fact, the whole video um, wasn't very good. Um, it was more, more about special effects rather than this is what the quad can do. So I'm just hoping that the quad isn't limited uh, too much and that the onboard footage is going to be usable. So that's it for now, guys. Hopefully uh, I shall get my Phantom delivered shortly uh, and then I can start showing you what it is actually capable of and get the onboard footage up. Um, I'll post links to other videos of uh, distributors that have put their videos up so you can see what it's like. Um, 
I don't mean to teach your grandma how to suck eggs or anything, but um, for the people that don't know about quadcopter, especially my subscribers, um, that's why I've gone into a little bit more detail about it. Um, so click the videos and uh, have a little look and see what you think about it. And uh, tell me what you think about it and what you'd like to see from that quadcopter. Maybe uh, chasing some RC cars with it or something, or uh, testing the flight ca uh, flight capabilities of it, how high it can go. But again, remember it's only 300 meters max, so um, it's not going to be great. Um, but it is one step up from the AR drone. So let's see how that goes, guys. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and rate, and uh, let me know what you think below. And uh, it'll be coming to this channel soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you.